Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now if you're new, we do movie and series reviews, monthly wrap up tier lists with the occasional random ranking and game board content. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, consider hitting that subscribe button. Today we're talking about Pretty Little Liars Original Sin. Uh, this time around it did not air on Freeform. Um, HBO Max did come out with this new series. It did give us 10 episodes. The last three episodes did um, air on August the 18th. Does Pretty Little Liars original sin kind of like hold up to the OG? Does it surpass it? Did it fall flat? Stick around and find out. Now I did not watch Ravenswood. I heard it wasn't the greatest. Um, I think I did try to watch like an episode or two, um, but it just wasn't for me. Of course, that's the spin-off from Pretty Little Liars with Caleb that went searching over there for some stuff. I don't know. We're not taking place in Rosewood or in Ravenswood. We are in Millswood, which is still like the surrounding kind of towns around that whole uh, these Pennsylvania location. It does technically still fall within the same world as those other ones. It's actually the first spin-off that's not part of the whole ABC Freeform family deal because it's not very family friendly, you know? I mean, it still has like that whole killer darkness, whatever, you know, that those had. But I feel like if I recall correctly, even though we did see murders and stuff, it was kind of insinuated that people were getting murdered and slashed and everything. But I don't remember actually seeing people being killed. You know, we just kind of knew that they were killed, like off screen, and we would find bodies or whatever. But this one is definitely more R rated. It does give you more of those like slasher vibes, which I do love slasher movies. But honestly, it doesn't fully give you that Pretty Little Liars feel to it. Like I would not officially classify this as the Pretty Little Liar kind of like spinoff. We do travel. We do have an episode where we do travel uh, to. Um, Rosewood. Sorry, I had to think about where we are. So many woods deal. We do see a certain facility of one of the characters of the OG deal. We don't see any uh, of the OG actors in this one. Again, it's a whole different thing, a whole new set of girls. But we do get mention of two characters from the original uh, sh uh, show. But we'll leave it at that. We're not going to talk spoilers. This time around, we are following Imogen, Noah, Tabby, Minnie, and Farron. So given the time period that we are in, because we are kind of going back and forth in time, because again, it is original sin. So basically, the kids have to account for the parents' mistakes. So the parents, um, their graduating year was going into, you know, the whole Y2K a New Year's party kind of stuff. So definitely, you know, 90s, early 2000s slasher vibe. So that definitely kind of goes more so with the tone of this particular series. Killer, the way that their whole look, I don't know. It, I, it's, it's like yes, but no. It's like yes, if it was maybe like a movie or something, but like no for the series. Like I definitely like the look of A in the original one. And I know I shouldn't be comparing because again, it's like part of the world, but I wouldn't officially call it the world. I don't know. Because I really don't know how I feel because like again, I love, love, love the original uh, series so much. I wasn't even planning on officially watching this series because I was like, oh, another spinoff. It's going to ugh. I hate it. I hate it already because they were going to split it off. I love, like, Charmed is another series of mine that I absolutely love. One of my favorite series of all time. And then they split it off into this other stuff that when I saw the first couple episodes, and I've even seen a couple episodes when Desiree watches it, and I'm like, what the hell is this load of crap? I hate it. And there's some other series also that they've done spinoffs, and I just don't like it. I tried to give it a shot, but this right here actually surprised me because I was able to officially take it away because it didn't give me full on Pretty Little Liar vibes like I was saying. Like the other series definitely try to stick within that tone and try to get into the whole nostalgic feeling with it. This was actually able to separate itself from the original. I mean we have the whole A deal but it's a whole different deal. Let me let me kind of go into the characters. Um, so this time around we definitely do have a more diverse group of girls here. Uh, we actually even have a pregnant girl here uh, who is Imogen. A whole uh, like body images, my body, my choice. It does give you feminist vibes as well. All these girls have, of course have their own personal dilemmas in the way that it was just officially diverse in the whole situation not just ethnical groups. More 
real world issues that are happening with like sexual violence so i do want to have like a trigger warning here because we do we don't see any kind of sexual uh abuse officially happening do we no i don't remember that but we do have talks of that so um just even in general if that is something that you have issues with i'm like so slouchy i don't know what happened i got real comfortable y'all <laughs> i said this was gonna be quick and i went comfortable because we about to talk about this a lot maybe not i'm gonna try not to because i caught myself we of course have our film nerd because every time there's some sort of horror stuff uh we do have to have our our film geek who of course specialty in horror that's their their go-to deal but just generally the overall story of it I don't know, you know, just the build up. It didn't give me the intensity, the scares, the oh my god, what's gonna happen next, all the turns and all that that the original show gave us, you know. And again, I was able to make it to its own, but seeing that it does have pretty little lives attached to the first part of it, it should still give you that sense of who is a what's happening what are your motives you know the whole like build up to it to the big possible reveal which at the end we still don't end up getting because it literally took like seven seasons to officially get to who the hell a is i mean yes we had mona there but then it was like a whole a army and then like who the official thing was and what the heck's happening with allison and here we have our Allison would be Angela Waters and the whole story kind of revolves around her which again takes a uh, place with the parents because again this all is about the mo the mothers of the girls and because they were the it popular bullies of their time in the 90s and what they ended up doing and what other people ended up doing to Angela Waters. It is just one season. And I think it's only going to be one season. I don't even know if it got renewed for a second one. But the way that it actually ended, it ended like... It, it was a resolution, you guys. Like, again, it doesn't leave you with, oh my gosh, more to it. And at the end, though, the resolution wasn't even all that. Like, again, the build-up to it, it was just like... no, nah. There was no a real good A build-up. There could possibly be more to it. Maybe. But, like, not really. You know, it is like a very horror slasher 90s kind of like wah, kind of deal happening there which i guess it's kind of like a spoiler but like not really but again it, it it ends like this is it which i'm good like they shouldn't be anymore i'm trying not to give you too much but still give you some stuff to make up your mind if you're gonna watch it or not before i do give you my rating if you haven't already don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. But if you've seen Pretty Little Liars Original Sin, let me know down below what did you think about it. Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? It's just not for you. If you've seen the OG one, what did you think about that one? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Um, if you hate it, don't tell me because I love the show. Literally, like I said, it's one of my favorite um, like series. I think at one point I will try to do like favorite TV series of all time. That's for another, like, that's a random ranking that I've been thinking about doing for a long time that I just never got to it. Pretty Little Liars Original Sin. I think it's a streamable show. It's not something that you need to, like, rush to and watch. If you are somebody who loves the original series, this is, this is like its tiny little adopted sister. And yes, the original one, I possibly, I don't think has aged very well. Because if I recall some of the episodes that I did see with Desiree when she was watching, I was like, oh wow, it's kind of cringy. <laughs> but I loved it when it was first on. So it's one of those things that I know that with a couple of rewatches that I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. So I refuse to rewatch it now. Um, so it can still stay beautiful in my mind. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you're into like the kind of like OG kind of horror slasher vibes. It's not scary. It doesn't have like jump scares or anything like that. But definitely trigger warning. We have like suicide talk. We have murder. We have death. Sexual favors done by adults and children here. So just kind of trigger, 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 trigger. Just so you can be aware of that. All right, guys, that's it for me today. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye. Thank you.